I shall lack voice. The deeds of Coriolanus should not be uttered feebly. It is held that valour is the chiefest virtue, and most dignifies the haver. If it be, the man I speak of cannot in the world be singly counterpoised. At sixteen years, when Tarquin made a head for Rome, he fought beyond the mark of others, and in the council's view slew three opposers, and in that day's feats, when he might act the woman in a scene, he proved best man in the field. His pupil age, man entered thus, he waxed like a sea, and in the brunt of seventeen battles since, he lashed all swords of the garlands. For his last, before and in Coriolis, let me say, I cannot speak him home. He stopped the flyers, and by his rare example made the coward turn terror into sport. His weeds before a vessel and a sail, so men obeyed and fell below his stem. His sword, death stamp, where it did mark, it took from face to foot. He was a thing of blood, whose every motion was timed with dying cries. Alone. He entered the mortal gate of the city, which he painted with shunless destiny. Aedlus came off, and with a sudden reinforcement struck Coriolis like a planet. Now all's his, when by and by the din of war can pierce his ready strength, then straight his double spirit requickened what in flesh would fatigate, and to the battle came he, where he did run reeking over the lives of men as it were perpetual spoil. Until we called both field and city ours, he never stood to ease his breast with panting. 